New York. Well, let's speak to David Tafuri. He's an international lawyer, a former State Department official. He joins us live from Washington. Uh, David, it's very good to have you with us. Um, what do you make of that line? What's the significance of that line we've had from the Department of Justice saying there will be no additional indictments recommended by the uh, investigation report? Well, that's not in any official statement by the Department of Justice. Apparently, someone in the Department of Justice uh, anonymously has said that. So that has not yet been confirmed, and we don't know what to make of that. But let's say that's true. That suggests that uh, Mueller has decided not to recommend indictment of Trump's closest advisors. It doesn't mean that he hasn't found wrongdoing by President Trump, because as cited in your earlier reporting, President Trump under Department of Justice regulations cannot be indicted as a sitting president. Mueller may have agreed with those recommendations, decided not to recommend indictment for the president because he doesn't think it's proper under the DOJ regulations, but he could still have found wrongdoing with respect to President Trump, his actions, uh, his interactions with Russia, and possibly obstruction of justice. So right now we still don't know what the report says. Only the attorney general and I guess his closest advisors who have received it now understand and know what it says. The attorney general has said he is going to report on it to Congress, give some information about it to Congress as early as this weekend, but that hasn't happened yet either. And, and given that the clamor has already begun uh, for the report to be made public, uh, how much of it and how soon do you think we'll find out what's in there? Well, that's really up to Attorney General Barr. As you know, the House uh, in Congress has voted unanimously in favor of the report being made completely public. That's amazing. Um, you know, Democrats and Republicans in the House rarely agree on anything. So that sends a message about what Congress, at least, uh, the House wants to have happen. But that doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's in att the Attorney General's discretion. And it's also possible the Attorney General is going to consult with the White House and with White House lawyers. And the White House lawyers may attempt to assert executive privilege. So there are a number of different things that still need to happen before this becomes public. Okay, David, thanks very much. David Tafuri joining us from Washington.